You're almost done with the app, but there's one last thing to wrap up, adding an app icon and a display name into the app. This is pretty easy, so let's dive right in. Okay, so to add icons, just open up your assets.exe assets and select the default entry that was created for you called app icon. And it has all of these placeholders for you where you should drag in the icon sized at the appropriate sizes for various iPhone and iPad versions and OS version combinations. Now, the nice thing is inside the dotted gray boxes here is the size of the images and pixels. So if you download the resources for this particular episode, I have all the icons you need in there and all the numbers here are the size of the icons and pixels. So for example, we want a 40 by 41, so we drag an icon 40 there. We want a 60 by 61 there, so we drag an icon 60 there. So there's a lot of these, so I'm just gonna do this um, with and speed up the video later on. So let's go. Now to set the display name, it's pretty easy. We just click on the project over here in the navigator and there's a setting here in identity called display name and we'll do B-U-L-L apostrophe S E Y E. And now we're just gonna build and run. All right, now let's see what it looks like in our home screen now. So if you go to device and home, which is also shift command H, we see the app there. Now it hasn't appeared properly with the display name, so let me try running this again and see if that fixes it. Okay, so I had to stop the app and rerun it and then it worked okay, um, just the way we wanted with the display name. And awesome, that completes your very first app.